After 3 o'clock this afternoon, Freedom Division officers of Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department received a call about an individual suffering from a gunshot wound. This individual was located in a vehicle here at the Walmart on Wilkinson Boulevard, 3420 Wilkinson Boulevard. Uh, officers provided aid to that victim. Uh, he was transported from this location by medic to Atrium Main Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Uh, an individual that had transported this uh, person to Walmart is talking to police about what happened. Uh, the investigation is fresh and ongoing. Um, all the information we have right now is that this particular incident occurred on the 1700 block of West Boulevard and that this individual was transported here before he received medical attention. Uh, we've also had another person that has arrived at Novant Hospital, Novant, Maine. That person is also suffering from life-threatening injuries that we believe are related to the incident. Right now, we don't have a motive for the case. Uh, we're still working both uh, scenes actively. We're asking that if anybody has any information, if anybody saw this victim that was transported here in this vehicle, please reach out to us. Contact us through Crime Stoppers. You can do so anonymously. You can reach out to us through our My CMPD app, which is available through the App Store. Uh, so we would also ask that you call if you have any information about the scene on West Boulevard. Uh, police are currently conducting an active investigation, as I said, involving crime scene search, district attorney's office, homicide unit. Uh, the public information office will be providing updates to you. So as this investigation proceeds and we get additional information, uh, we'll be providing that to the news media, especially about any potential suspects that we're looking to identify. Uh, if we have any video that we can release, we'll make sure that you get that. So, Just to be clear here, one person dead, another person injured? Correct. Okay. Are right. you, and don't know the extent of those injuries other than they're life-threatening right now. Are you able to say age yet for the uh, victims? I'm not, no, sir. No, African-American males, I believe, are both victims at this point. Um, uh, let's be honest with you. It's been a bit of a busy last several days for you guys. Um, is a First question actually to that is to believe that this might be related to any of the other incidents. That's so the, the question that's been asked is do we believe that this particular scene is related to any other violence we saw during the weekend and at this point there's nothing to indicate that these are related to any of the other incidents. This particular scene appears to be isolated to West I know this is probably going to be more of a personal impressions question, but this is the, uh, again, we got to be honest here. This is quite a bit of violence in a short period of time that has happened here in uh, the Charlotte-Mecklenburg jurisdiction. Um, anything to say to that and the fact, the fact that this, it's been a very busy time for you guys, as much as I'd say. I've stood before the news media cameras many times and talked about how we struggle with why the community results to gun violence to resolve conflict. Uh, I wish I could tell you why people are fearful or angry to the point where they're resorting to using firearms. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, I'm a family man and when I see children killed in Charlotte, uh, innocent children killed in Charlotte, it makes me sick. And I'll be quite honest with you, there, there have to be consequences for people's actions. Uh, when people point a gun, they have to know that whatever comes out of the end of that gun can kill someone. And it may not be the person that you're shooting at. Uh, we need the community's involvement. I'll be quite honest with you. Our folks do a very good job. Our homicide clearance rate is one of the highest in the country. Our folks work extremely hard to solve these cases. We do it for the families. We do it for the victims. We do it for the community. And when we talk about having the community engaged, what that means is we have to have conversations. That means when the police come out to investigate these cases, we need people to help us. We need people to talk. That's all we ever ask for is help. As far as this specific uh, incident itself, especially the, the scene that's out on uh, West Boulevard right now, is there any indication right now as to what led to that scene? I don't have any information on what led to this particular instance, yeah. but again, Public Information Office will be able to update you once we get additional information. The detectives are working hard on this, mm -hmm. and again, our, we, we want to have resolution to these cases as quickly as possible. So we'll be able to work with news media and hopefully get you some information soon. So thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.